<laughs> Lewd. <laughs> Lewd. Sun the sky, who the f fuck is streaming that? Oh, it's me! Oh my god, there's like double dudes, I, I wasn't even here for it, I'm so sorry! Lunaria, thank you very much for 11 months! Thank you very, 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 very much. It's always lovely to have you here, Lunaria, and I hope you're still enjoying everything. And Arth with 19 as well, thank you, Arth! Thank you very much for your 19 months of ludery and most debauchery, most fouled. Almost fine. Thank you both. Hey, Owl. Animated emotes can be... Oh yeah, we can wibbly wobbly. We can we can wobbly now, can we? There's like twatch animated emotes. Where do I find these wiggly boys? The global, maybe? No, I don't know. I don't look cool enough to see these. It's like frequently used, but Bible thump and what face and resident sleeper. I never use any of these. I don't, why, why are these recently used? I, I didn't recently use them. Fucking lies. Lies and slander. Hey, Jareth. I need to pop out the chat. Hey Sage! Hey Deeks! Trucking sounds? This is like space trucking. Well, sorry, reach the reach trucking. What up, Owl? Wibbly wobbly, I'm here to bobbly. Animated, 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 animated. Lewdness intensifies. I mean, animated emotes are cool. What up, Jimmerith? Hello, Luna, mate. Yeah, the animated stuff's out now, I think. Animated. Delicious. What a pumpkin! <laughs> nice. Delicious. Thanks for the raid, Luna. Called you at mobile. What was that like? I forget, what was our latest plan of debauchery, anyway? Alright. Uh, let's have a look. We don't need crew. We don't need to repair. What can we explore the city with? Oh, here we go. A pernickety factor. Let's visit the pernickety factor, shall we? A neat calling card was waiting for you at the station. The paper was scented and the envelope ironed. Meeting takes several days to arrange. She rejects the round table as a venue, and all the cafes in the upper district. Even the nice tea room under the bridges. Eventually, you agree upon the parlour at the company house, which is open to visitors on a Sunday. The pernickety factor requests you change table three times before she's satisfied. I'm looking for several disappeared colonists. I believe their destination was Hybris. I'd be much appreciative of you to take me there. Yeah, alright. I guess. Hello, Chibetto. Thanks, dude. Hey, buddy. Thunder incoming. Yeah, I know. It's been pissing it up for a while, actually. It's getting that thundery sort of feeling. Isn't this just the same thing as always? Yeah, yeah. So if we go to the bazaar, is there any no prospects available right now? We've got how much dollar we do? Have I got? Might, I got 1257 dollar we do. Oh, we got, we got some carefully packed munitions to take somewhere, and we've got verdant seeds, haven't we? Right. We're actually full right now. Okay. I could actually take off the mining array and potentially change that to something else, but... Okay, so let's have a quick look. We've got to deliver those to Titania. Deliver two or more. Well, that's that. We're going to Titania anyway. Munitions to Lustrum. Lustrum rise east, northeast of New Winchester. East. East, northeast. Here? Lustrum? 
would make the most sense. Let's try and find Lustrum first then. Chugga 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 chugga. Woo -hoo. Is everyone ready for some comfy, comfy training? At least I hope you're all ready for some comfy training. Chugga 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 chugga. Woo woo! Captain, Captain Alice, almost level 6 as well, actually. So where are we going anyway? Uh, yeah, let's go. Try and find us uh, Lustrum. As long as we find Lustrum, we can hand this in immediately, which would be really useful. See if there's any more uh, goodies to be gained. Go from there. Maybe a new mission. New Questology. We've got a decent amount of dosh as well. And the nice thing about these upgrades is they're all permanent, essentially. Like, we can just keep trading them between ships and stuff, so the more upgrades we buy, the better it gets. Etc, etc. Murder all the bees! Uh, I guess we can. just been really into like Sunder Skies again recently, so I was like, yeah, let's, let's stream this again. Good times. Hey, Leo, gone. Chuck, 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 What, are, what are you, uh, drinking, aluminium? It's got a little chilly over here. I never played the Untersea um, uh, sub, sub, Submariner expansion for Sun of the Seas. Does anyone else play that? That's Tackety. Okay. Let's get, see if Scouty Boy can find anything. Right, you furry little shit. Oh, nothing then. Okay. Oh. Ah, shite. Better deal with this guy then. Oh, he's attacking the uh, Takati as well. Spinters are real assholes. You better not be stealing my, my kill, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Just positioned really badly there. Eek. Right, let's send out people with access to get me some bronze wood. Oof, now that was rough. Well, that better not have been a fucking mid here, dude. Hey, indeed. Ah, Jag, thank you for the 34, dude. 34, the lewdest of times. Thank you very, very much, man. I see everyone's uh, enjoying the animated emotes. They're good, aren't they? I really like them. Hey Jessica, hey Andy. Thank you again, Jag. You lovely, 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 lovely Jag, you. The Desolation of Saliba. Saliba? Uh, okay. I don't know where this thing is then. This seems like a terrible place to be. Ah, 
excellent. actually gonna have to turn around. I really hoped we'd find let's go to Corillion if we can get the Corillion from here. Hey Danger Mouse, you're right. Nasty nasty. Took a lot of damage, more than I certainly hope. So where the hell is Lustrum then? Better question. So the east northeast of New Winchester. I'm trying to think where else it could be. I'd I'd have said here, unless it's here, which seems unlikely. But you never know. That's a real nuisance, actually. Yeah, the Halloween is vital to my secret plan. I'm not sure what the secret plan is. As long as it's vital, that's the important thing. Okay, we found loads of stuff. I'm running out of supplies, actually. I'm really kind of hoping this has a end to it. Yeah, there we go. 33, oh dear god. Get yourself the most delicious of, like, decent fans quickly. This is going to be really close. Half rations, okay. All right, we've we've got to a port, so we're fine. Damn. Okay, this kind of didn't really go the way I was hoping. Nuisance. Honestly, I hate the heat as well. It just sucks. Uh, an overgrown shrine. Let's have a look here. Still an offering from the borough below. Really? That seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Contemplate the statue. The path leads you to a broken statue, seemingly ignored by the devils of Corillian, except for whoever placed the freshly lit candles at its feet. The face is poorly carved, but features unmistakable. The features unmistakable. The borough below stares at you through one gemstone eye. Let's contemplate the statue. My terror has fallen. While the statue is the raw material of nightmares, there is something soothing about the idea that even a beast like this might be harnessed, that there is a chance for such an ally. For those who crack the code of offering and prayer. Whether it's actually listening, it's impossible to tell. The thought that it might, however, is something to hold on to in the dark. Well, that's nice, I guess. Travel around Carillion. Try to explore Carillion. Can we do that yet? No. No, we're not allowed to yet. We'll write a port report, though. Okay. Clarista Nectar. Fine. Supplies. Cool. No fuel though. So that's going to be an interesting one. 
Alright, so I suppose I'm trying to think where else next to try. Potentially could be something here? I'm guessing we have to go back to New Winchester though, because, well... Otherwise we're going to have a bad time, aren't we? Wait. What if it's here? I'm trying to think where else east, northeast could technically be. Along the back, maybe, behind this nightmare? I wonder if it's worth them. Um... Oh, there's some supplies. Ten hull, that's actually quite nice. Alright, has anyone got an idea where do you reckon east northeast will be? Oh, we should probably give ourselves a facet. What have we got here? Family footsteps, a metamorphosis, below stairs, smoggy streets, or a scandal. Mm -hmm. What are my stats at? I need to have more hearts and probably more veils. I could do hearts and veils here, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. A metamorphosis. In order to become what you need to be, you abandon your old life. You cast it aside as a snake must shed its skin. Sounds good to me. Wait, that's veils. Shit. No, actually, we want... I'm not sure what the... What's the eye one, actually? Is that mirrors? That's mirrors, sorry. Family footsteps. Some inherit wealth. You inherit your character. Good breeding, people said. Well, perhaps. But you've always been keen observer. There we go, get a nice stat up there. You think it'd be about east northeast? That makes that makes a perfect sense actually. We should, maybe we should go that way. Well, we're gonna have to go back to New Winchester to get some damn fuel anyway, I think, at this point. And probably repair the ships after that scribe spin so gave us a little shit. What a douche. Maybe I think maybe then we'll go back this way, past the desolation of cyber, and that down this way, maybe. It could be here, of course, as well. Maybe we could say fuck it and actually go Winchester, Circus, Hybris, Titania to hand in the flowers, Avon, Magdalene, Prosper, that way. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Is everyone up for like a road trip? Whoa. Thanks for the HP. That's actually pretty nice. We're at 30 out of 40 now. Cool. Ah, oh, goddammit. Shoot me, you asshole! Cool. Get some more bronze wood, which is actually worth a fortune in the right place. Cool. Palace of Salt, a fine name for a Cthulian train. Choo -choo. Hey, Vicky. Finally caught a stream of this. I used to rush home early if it was work, catch your streams of Sun in the Skies. Oh, really, Breville Deville? Well, I'm glad you've popped in. We need to get back before we run out of fuel. I think you can put some. Can't you burn supplies as well, I think? But.
Yeah, this this plan didn't start off super well. I really want to get rid of these munitions though, because they're they're a fucking nuisance. What I might do is get more hold space. I might just sink for it and just it's useful to have the extra hold space. I'm not really mining enough asteroids to make to warrant it, I don't think, right now. So inevitably when I do that we'll basically have nothing but asteroids. But hey. Asteroids that are full of time. Please have some fuel. That's not fuel. Useful though. Uh, I forget, actually. Where are we handing that to? That is in... Port Avon. Oh, okay. Well, we can hand that in. It's a bit of extra money. I really love the scale that this game sort of, like, hands out, you know? Like, it really feels big and expansive. I like that. Alright, so we're gonna have to repair a little bit. We took a bit of damage from the spinster, but that's fine. Cool beans. Right, things to do. It's the bank. So let's dump that in there. I'm going to go to the Victoria, no, I'm going to go to, let's see, we want to get additional cargo bay. That's the winch and pulley, we could actually do that, it's quite expensive though. I might just get the additional cargo bay for now. I'll sell that for now. I can get a better one in the future, and it's a bit of extra money I could use, so... There we go. Perfect. So we've got to hand that in at Port Avon. We've got to hand those in at Titania. Those in at uh, Lustrum. That's the one we need to find. God damn it. Alright. And then we need to go repair, don't we? At the station. Ten over thirty or three. That's for sixty, right? Nice. Okay. Let's go. All right. So then, we could actually do it slightly differently. We could go Port Avon, Titania, Circus, Hybris, and then not the other way. That's actually a better idea. Let's go that way. You think I should just head east-northeast and find Lostrum? Yeah, that makes sense. We'll go uh, east-northeast, I guess, and find Lostrum in a second. A Repans campaign? Who's Repans again? I'm trying to think who they are. Did I drop the settler off the campground? It's not the, it's not the campground I gotta drop them off at, I wanna say. I've gotta drop them at... The Lead Beater and Stain Rod Nature Reserve, which we also haven't found, I might add. Oh, the Bretonian leader. Ah, yes, the, um, the lady. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Thunder Seas can be really mean. This is definitely a bit more forgiving than Thunder Seas. But it is annoying when they give you quests and they don't give you any any idea where the town might be because the map's so big. And of course, uh, supply is so valuable that you got to be a little bit careful. My terror is looking a bit bad. I could actually change change course a smidge and go to Magdalene to clear the terror up. Actually, I think I can reduce terror in, um, in this place as well. We passed the de mayonnaise. She sounds alright. We can hand him one of the crockeries to get a bit of money. 
then get some more, I guess another dose of fuel maybe? Acquire day in Port Avon. Play around a cricket? Buy cheap fuel. Two fuel for 20 sovereigns. That is quite cheap. We can do that in a minute though. If we go to the, if we go to the bazaar and hand in some crockery first. Nice. Actually, around a... Uh, yeah, that's why it just gets cheap fuel, sure. Alright. Port Avon. Write a port report. I don't know what my... Can I do anything else with Port Avon right now? Let's increase our welcome. It's now a four. Okay, that's fine. So on the village green, we can... Take a relaxing stroll. Yeah, let's, let's attend a service at the church. That sounds nice. The congregation is a mix of attentive locals sitting primarily at the front and visitors perch at the back. The accordionist coaxes them out into the, an attempt at judge eternal throned in splendour. Well, that sounds, uh... Watch a cricket match, sure. Your terror has fallen. Nice, okay. Take it. Can we watch another cricket match? Yeah, we can. We can actually keep watching cricket matches to get our terror down. That's actually quite useful. And we're no longer welcome. That's fine. Now we can leave. Lovely. That's actually really useful. There's the ruins as well. Alright, we're not, we're not allowed to stay. Get beaten up. Cool. Yeah, normally watching cricket IRL just made your terror go up. They added animated emotes now. Yes. We watch too much cricket. Fuck off, mate. Oh, chum, you want to watch some cricket, innit? Right, my love, you want to watch the cricket? Oh, you can't watch the cricket no more. You've watched too much cricket. You better get the fuck out of here or break your arms. Yeah, too much cricket. You get slain. Right, my love? Cricket? Don't bloody think so. That's proper Gert Lash, isn't it, that cricket? Did you like it? Nice. What's cricket? It's, a, it's an English sport. It's... What's the best way to describe it? It's... Similar enough in premise to baseball, in the sense that someone throws a ball at you and you hit it. It's silly baseball. Some people take their cricket very, very seriously. My granddad's next door neighbour was like, cricket is like the proper shizners. He was really all about the cricket. He was a really nice dude actually. But he, uh, he did love his cricket. Titania always called them. All right, so we can sell these flowers we've got as well. We need, we need to sell these munitions. That's gonna be a really big one. Ooh. Bees! We don't want to get into fights with two lots of bees at once. What? I can't hear you! Alright. Harvest the stinger for your settler. Don't, they don't want them anymore, do they? No. Oh, we failed. We lose a crew member and don't get any fucking honey. That's alright. Uh -oh. Damn it! Throw I will throw crew members out of this fucking window till we get some honey. 
Don't think I won't. So we lost two crew members and gained zero honey. I would say that's a that's a pretty tragedy, that is. Right. Wait, what? The sky is wrong. This is not where you were meant to be. What is it, a trick of the mist? Has wind carry you astray? Have the heavens turn on their axis? Double back. Painting retrace your power. Just fuel and time. Press on. Push forward into the stranger skies. Hope you'll find the familiar territories. You order the crew to stand firm and hold the course as you traverse this uncanny fold of sky. Eventually your navigator utters a grateful oath. A landmark. You have found again. Not spooky. Oh, the rat Brigade! Ratties! Oi! <laughs> Chief Engineers! Ratties! We have to get rats, right? We have to get rats. <laughs> oh, Danny! Three rats glow up at you. They're wearing tattered military uniforms and carrying rusted derringers. They're polite enough to point them elsewhere. Many hands make light work. They give us villainy. Yeah, ratties. Ratties are a hundred. Yeah, ratties. Yes, yes! The smallest, most scarred rat is called Cinders. She introduces her companions. This, she introduces the rat wearing goggles, is my second. Petronella, our mechanic. She gestures towards a rat with glossy fur. And this is our agent provocateur, Albrecht. The rat inclines his head. We need a locomotive. These battle-hardened rats are all that remains of the rat regiment, a mercenary company used to in the early days of the Winchester War. Used to be a dozen of us. The best sappers around, says Cinders. Now look at us. Her whiskers twitch. Time for that later. We'll pay, Captain. Yay! Ratties! 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 Alright, let's go to the bazaar and flog the seeds. We need to flog. There we are. Bargains available. Hours. We don't need any hours, though, I don't think. So we gained some experience and some sovereigns, which is great. So, we also need some supplies, I would say. So let's gain... I can gain probably two lots of supplies. I'll keep us busy for a while. We can make a port report since we're here. Oh yeah, we can donate sky stories. We might as well, actually. We've got loads. How many sky stories do I have? Let's find out. Oh yeah, which chief engineer do I want? There's hearts, six iron. This is two iron, six veils. Scarpa lads, they got guns! Uh, I need to actually check what my stat what are my stats again. So my irons are 23. My veils are 33. We're actually probably better off with more iron right now. But it's useful to have them, so. Oh no, Fairy Wolf, what's going on? So how many sky stories do I have? There's a way of telling, I forget where it is. Ah, here we go. Oh, I've actually lost 14 crew members. Damn. Where are the sky stories at? Possessions. Aha! We've got nine, have we? So we can donate five for 85 sovereigns and 50 experience. There we go. Gain some experience. Lost five stories. Ah, that's perfect. Right. Cool then. In that case, we want to go... Write a port report. At Oberon's Landing. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do right now, if I remember right. I think we're still at the... Yeah, we're still at that. That's fine. Right. Moving on. So we'll head to the Circus and then to Hybris in that order, I think. We actually managed to kill the bees quite easily, which is handy. Ratties, ratties, ratties! I mean, we also got some ratties as a crew, which is excellent. We actually start need, we need to talk to some of our crew so we're going to get some quests. For example. For example. From the tiara crested brow downwards, there is nothing about the incognito princess that is not incandescent. She is like the sun, and about as dangerous as anything in the vicinity. Wherever the princess goes, she looks around with a surplus of curiosity and a complete lack of care. While she seems incapable of discerning between the two, the incognito princess seemed intrigued by any mention of the daring do and abysmal horror. 
Thrilled by your tales, the princess invites you to her quarters. I have a secret, she says, removing her tiara, before donning a second, more expensive tiara. I'm Queen Victoria's daughter. I trust your discretion. Is a considerable ask? This must be the captivating princess, the daughter of Victoria, who dwells in a miasma of rumours of excess, ranging from red honey to cannibalism. Red honey's bad, by the way. Yeah. A half-fixiated starling has somehow found its way on board. It flies to her hand. She pets it gently. One is travelling to broaden one's mind before one takes on a new role. It would be a delight to meet with the engineers who keep the eternal ball of Perderant tick-tocking away. She smiles. You find yourself outside. So, we need to go to Perderant next, which is in... Uh, the next area, London's area. Chugga 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 You've never seen the ratties in this kind of game, Pumpkin. In Sunder's, um, in Sunder's Siege, you can have, you can have loads of rats as well. They're really, they're really useful. You can know, have like little rat, rat friends to help you out. Wonderful little dudes. And all the posties are rats. Ratties! Bees! Bees, 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 bees. Yeah, we got some Clarissa honey, which is actually really handy. I'm pretty sure we have a quest for the clock, I want to say. Do you know? Is it the clock? Bronze, wood, and Clarissa nectar. So, next time we go out that way... Um... Uh, Port Prosper, we'll have to do that. The undergrowth draws you in. Is that just a hiss or is that a buzz? I got faith. God damn it, crew! You got one job, is to not get caught. Hey, die! We lost another crew member. Fucking arseless, I tell you. Well, luckily crew are replaceable, so... I don't think I've gotten honey that way once. I don't think so either. Uh, so, almost at the circus. Work, work. Uh, not the evil work. Well, hopefully you can listen to us throw men at bees for a while. Bees! Bees! I think it's just sacrifice to the worthy bee gods at this point. Yeah, probably. We need to consider some ways of making some dosh dosh dosh, but I mean, a lot of this is getting port reports, getting some slow and steady dosh, and eventually getting a new engine. That's what we want to do. Once we unlock the, all the areas around here as well, that will help. What oh, that was. Chicken, rice, and broccoli. That sounds really nice, actually. I had some fiskera earlier. Fiskera. Discontent! An engineer cries out, her voice hoarse as a professional mourner. It's gone! She points out one of the stained glass windows. The star! It winked out! You look through the glass, stars burn upon the firmament. The specific patch of sky she's pointing out to is indeed empty, but you couldn't say the star had been there before. Dispense an additional ration of brandy to distract the crew. Make a joke of it, and her. When we can't face the truth, we laugh of it. Set a watch on the stars. Is it true? If you organise a road to observers, you would see it happen. But it will mean exposing the watchers to the stars' perilous light. That sounds like a bad day. We distract the crew. The prospect of brandy provokes a rag cheer. Yay! Including the rats. Soon the crew of rosy faces and broad smiles. Your locomotive resounds to a lusty, if appropriate, rendition of how the Zaylers lost their Zs. No one looks out of the windows, though. No one looks at the stars. Probably for the best. Right. 
What's the arguable vagabond? He's a signaller. Do I have a signaller already? Yeah, I do. Don't, isn't isn't he my signaller? If I look at my officers, yeah. I need a quartermaster and a mascot. That's who I really need right now. Uh, right. The circus. Right, a port report at the circus. Excellent. We could try and get some friendos. Twenty-seven percent chance. Relatively. Hey! If you persuasive, the circus. We gained a crew member. Your new crew member stares back. First at the big top, then at the vast carved obelisk. With difficulty, they turn it away. Ready for service, Captain. Yeah, we got a crew member to throw at a bee, so that's all good. Let's purchase some tickets. I don't know if anything changes yet, but we bought some more tickets, so... Let's attend another performance this time. The tent is barely any more populated than the last show. The ringmaster does his best, fixing a wide grin under his moustache as he introduces the pass what passes for the axe. The humiliated magician's attempt to saw his assistance in half comes to a unfortunate end. High above, the bereaved acrobat once again performs a half of the routine for a tiny amount of applause. Afterwards, the pensive clown trips into the spotlight, dropping their balls as he juggles. Bleh. It's silent enough to hear them hit the floor. It ends when the headstrong strong woman lifts a very large barbell over her head. She repeats this several times when the crowd's reaction isn't as enthusiastic as she'd have liked. The show ends with a smattering of reluctant applause. We gained some visions. Oh, we lost. The circus staff nod with familiarity when you pass. Oh, they know us now, I guess. Visit the amusements. Alright, let's be amused. Most of the stalls are now empty. Oh, this is it, the same, same as before, so... The circumstances have learned our names. They know us who we are now, then. Speak to the ringmaster. That's what he says. Offer your services as a clown. Dignity is overrated. The ringmaster looks to see a familiar face. Oh, thank God. We've got a show to put on, and one of my biggest acts is throwing a tantrum. Oh, he pauses, toying with his exquisitely managed moustache as he looks you up and down. I don't suppose you ever considered stepping into the ring yourself. I could be a lion tamer, a clown... An acrobat. Circus work is beneath you, but not your crew. I'm gonna be a- should we be a clown? Dignity is overrated. Dressed in motley and with Bruce paint face, you do your best to entertain. The audience laughs at your pratfalls. Some of them even deliver it. Afterwards, the ringmaster claps you on the shoulder. Excellent! Well, terrible. Never do that again. But please, come and see me behind the tents. Oh, dirty. Let's get behind the tents then. Behind the performers and the, and the permanent audience, the circus is deserted. Everyone keeps to their quarters unless they're practicing for the show. Despite the Calliope music, the mood back here is closer to that of a mausoleum. We've got to visit the... Talk oh, we can talk to all the peeps. Let's uh, talk to the uh, ringmaster, as he did ask us to. Hey, he's on a hook! Wait, you got bit? I'll know what by, like, little mos uh, mosquitoes or something. Wait. Vulture bees that make meat honey. Ugh. Meat honey sounds dirty. You get big Firefly Serenity vibes in this game. I get, like, horrible, nightmarish Lovecraft in vibes, I gotta be honest. Hats, cats, bats, and rats. Yay, ratties! The ringmaster sat on a fat cushion, idly shuffling a worn pack of playing cards. He smiles warily at you. I ask the cards about you. He draws from the top of the deck, set them on the table. They say you can help. He then places them back into the deck and bids you shuffle and draw for yourself. The cards are the same. Looks like they haven't changed their mind. Accept a commission to repair the magician's props. Accept a commission to reclaim the acrobat's twin. Accept a commission to purchase costumes for the clown. Accept a commission to post flyers for the strong woman. Mm. Flyer sounds reasonable. Ringmaster leaned under his desk and picked up a fat bundle of posters. He drops them with a thud. We need these slapped all across the lead, beta, and uh, rage reserve in New Winchester. I wish we knew where the fucking thing was, though. Alright, well. We've got, a, we got, a, we got a, a mission to do now. Listen to their stories for the new arrivals. And our terror's fallen. Good. Same thing as before. Cool! Oh, do I need some more... Supplies, I wonder, actually. I might do. I might pick up some supplies. Bargains available, Bronzewood. You can buy Bronzewood there. I can't sell Bronzewood, I know. Supplies. Alright, we'll pick up one, I think, for now. We'll be fine. And I've, how much money have I got? 822. That's actually more than I thought. Okay, cool. 
Right, we're gonna go to Hybris. Which way should we go? Probably not the spooky way. Probably that way. Can you call the mulligan? Yeah, one would hope, right? We gotta find the lead beater in res nature reserve. Which I kinda wonder where the hell it is. Maybe over here? Cause there is and maybe over here. So Hey, some more chugger. It is quite a satisfying noise, right? Oh, this looks suspiciously like a dead end. Cockery Cove. Mm. Well, we got to drive. We got to drive our Pickety Facet, haven't we? We got to drop them off at um, Hybris, so we can do that. Chugger, 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 loot, loot. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see a loot train kick off while we're playing the game with the train in it. That'd be pretty friggin' lewd. All aboard the choo-choo! You're keeping the train thingy because of that. Honestly, it's a good one. Oh look! T I told you! I told you we'd find one of these. Scream of train whistles in the distance. Marauders embarking on a road. Interesting. Okay, we need to go down this way. Oh, supplies. Oh no, baddies. Actually, there's quite a few here. We just need to be able to dodge. Just getting some sovereigns for that for our trouble. Dirty sovereigns, not bad. Right, it's time to murder this next guy. Bricks. We're getting some more sovereigns. How many is that? 21. Okay, we gained 51 sovereigns just for murdering. I'm game. I think there was a third one down here somewhere as well. If Steam Engines could dodge that for real, it'd be like it'd do some deja vu. -ing. Now that was a good training montage. Lewd. I like it. Thank you very much, Arth. That was really kind of you. Lewd. Oh, I knew there was one here. I think I managed to wreck my engine a little bit there. Luckily, I could just repair it, so. That joke made me lose my train of thought. Wait, is that Mr. Craven? No, that's the son for Jazzy. Remind me of Mr. Craven. Right. Ooh, ooh. I'm kind of curious if there's anything down this way. Oh, a scout found something there, okay. At least you're full on water and haven't been beaten, been munched to death by mosquitoes, yeah. Well, at least you got it. Cali Calliope? Oh, was that the music? Calliope, okay. Is everyone ready for some dirty fungi? You think you're getting off track here? Oh my god, I can't decide which one of you's to be my fun guy. I choose Toad. Toad? His whole body shaped like a dick. Oh, right, yeah. Dirty fun guys, the best kind.
Oh no! Lewd. Oh no! We're not gonna get away with it this time, are we? Fun guy, more like fun guy. I like it. He's a fun guy to be around. Yeah! Thank you very much, Arth. Thank you very, very much. Double back. Safer that way. Gained five terror. I have to get some more fuel then. Damn. That's 40. That's not actually not too bad. It's only 40. Gained a bit of terror and gained a uh, thingy for our trouble. Thank you very much, Arthur, again, dude. That was very kind of you. As a scry spinster here. Should we try and kill him? There's a tentacle down there, isn't there? Take it slowly, I think. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, these guys are a bit of a nuisance. There we go. 74% chance to get some wood, which is actually, oh, the oath breaker. An argument breaks out between two crew member. One owes the other money, but cannot repay it. Unfortunately, the debt was sworn in the name of the borrower below, a roving god of the deep skies and a keeper of compact, uh, contracts. Wait, compacts? Oh, okay. The borrower has a low opinion of oath breakers. Your crew mutter darkly. They fear this will bring them bad luck. Banish the Oathbreaker. Take on and pay the Oathbreaker's debt. How much is that? 50. Punish them both. Okay. Yeah, I'll take on the Oathbreaker's debt, I guess. One of your crew, tattooed with dragons, acts as an occasional mediator with the borrower. She conducts a simple midnight ceremony in which you recite the promise that was made and immediately pay the amount owed. Your purse is lighter, but the debtor, the debtee, and the mediator seem happy. Outside, the sky's fogs are as thick as soup. The borrower below is watching me. Well, hopefully in a nice way. You know, that'd be, that'd be good. There's another scry spinster over there, which is unfortunate. I'll just try and kill him, I guess. What the? God damn it. A junior signaler receives a dose of medicinal port in the infirmary. After seeing a frozen corpse spin past the window, <laughs> the experience has shaken him. The dead are hungry, he says. We need to make an offering, or it will come back. I'm knocking at the hole. Reprimand him. Stuff this nonsense. Jettison some supplies. Yeah, I'd rather not. Double back for the corpse and loot it. Recover the body and transport it for a bit. Lowers your, but increases your nightmares. Oh, interesting. Maybe not. Mm. Right, you. We're the captain. Be silent. The crewman returns sheepishly to duty, but continues to jump every time debris clangs on the hull. It is debris. You're almost done. I said that actually works pretty well. Oh shit. Too close, too close, too close. Shit. Man, the spinsters, especially in a ship that isn't that maneuverable. this time. Yeah, bleeding mushrooms are creepy, right? So we're almost out of fuel. We're almost out of supplies. We'll get a load of our money back mm -hmm. from when we make our return trip, but still, not ideal. We need to run away and cover our tracks. 
<laughs> Wait, where the hell has everyone gone? Whoa. Thank you very much, Arf. Thank you for the lewdness. Delicious lewdness. I like all the train puns, though. It's very good. Thank you, dude. You're very kind. Hybris deserted. The cornless houses are dark, and there's not a sign of a soul around. The cornless houses are dark, yeah. No smoke comes from the Brendan's chimneys. The fretwork on the town hall remains unfinished. A bee laced with curling fronds flies by. It's drone, the only sound in Hybris. Bzzz. Everyone is gone, aside from the station master. The fungus, however, remains. Write a port report. The station master professes ignorance. His manner has not improved since the absence of everyone else. There are new shades of funguses. Indigo, crimson, jet. The trees have taken on a pallid hue. Spores cloud the air and the sun is almost restful. That's not good though. Scavenge your abandoned settlement for fuels and supplies. Yoink. The silence unsettles your crew, but in the musty lofts and dank attics, in coal scuttles and log stores and pantries, you find enough fuel, abandoned magician's props, to eat with a little luck. Be warned, now it's deserted, you'll never be able to purchase fuel or supplies at Hybris. Plan your journeys carefully. Okay. Where the hell is everyone? Yeah, I think that I, I reckon they might have got shroomed. Don't feed the sky corpses unless you get pink eye. Or oh, eldritch pink eye, which is the worst kind. You split up and make a quick circuit of the village. You discover the tables laid out for dinner. Cold tea still in Fair Nancy's pots. The notes, in large print, half written for the mayor's council meeting laid out on his desk. Abandoned bowls bob forlornly in the shadows of the marsh. You find the pernickety factor near the station. She holds up a muddy tarot card. The ten of meows. How particular. Let's keep looking. Sorry, how peculiar. We gain some more terror. Search the colony. 69% chance, Ayla Mal. Yeah, of course we succeeded 69%. The marshes are wild, the spores unswept. Laundry sits in piles in the wash house. Several shirts abandoned in the mangle. The town hall has been set up for a show. A broken mirror sits on the stage. You find an abandoned set of tarot cards before a gold-framed mirror. A playbill for marzipan and hallow. The wondrous wizards of glass has been discarded amidst the slough of pillows. Oh, sorry, the slough of pillows, if we're going to say that wrong. The pernickety factor makes a face. I hate to suggest it, but the Polymer and Plenties might be able to share some light here. They have a Megiskian. So we need to go to the uh, circus, actually, do we? Wanda Hybris. Everyone's pissed off. I don't think there's anything else here, to really, though, is there? No. Oh, there's bargains available that we have to pay, even though there's no one here. Somewhat suspicious, but whatever. Surely even the fungal. Forage for mushrooms. Search. Muskrooms! Yay! We gained some supplies for edible muskrooms. Delicious. Alright. Right, so we need to piss off. Uh, we've got a fair whack. I wonder if we can go past face full. Are you guys ready for horrible, creepy, giant, nasty eye monsters to do? I certainly hope so, because that's what we're going to go past. I really saw a hook. I never had the pleasure. I dropped um, acid in my ears. That was an experience. But never the shroomage. Ooh. Nah, I think we should reduce our terror. Study the fungus. Fuck that. Harvest the lichen. Nah, destroy it. 62%. Eh, failed. What did we do? What happened? Did we lose a crew member? Okay. Nice percentage. Uh, nice. Nice. Why are we harvesting a werewolf? A lichen. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale. I can't wait to see what we might find on this journey. I'll stop the puns now. I actually really like the puns, though. They're pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ars. Thank you very much for the biddies. You've been really generous with the biddies. For your, for your uh, trouble, I give you Faith's Fall. A ginormous, horrible, hollow planet full of nasty gribble. Is there anything actually here? We can repair our locomotive, but it's pretty scary and we might lose people. With supplies, we can actually delve in, but it's a bit spooky. Partial success, okay. We lost a crew member, but gained some hull, okay, that's fine. We'll just leave, this place sucks. That's actually, that's actually really handy. Partial success, what happened that time? 
Oh, I think we lost another crew member. Yep. Whoa! Really don't want to hang around this place. It friggin' sucks. Uh. Yeah. There we go. Just get into my hole. Nice. Eat shit, mate. Cool. Right. There is a route around this way, I'm not quite sure where it goes. Hey! Chill, dude. The hour of the wolf. It is late, and you are alone. Doubts prey on you. Is this the path you should have taken? You trespass upon the precincts of heaven. What price will be extracted of you? And what price have you already paid? Drink! Drink and forget the secrets that gnaw. You're de oh, developing a taste of the bottle. That sounds like a bad idea. Endure. Fail. Regain some terror. Your doubts are hungry tonight. They seize on your past decisions one by one, worrying at each like wolves at the lamb. Sleep is impossible. When your shift arrives, you arise haggard and unrested. Wonder what mistakes you'll make today. I mean, it can't be worse than a giant planet with eyeballs. I mean, it can be, I suppose. This looks like it feeds back around to Hybris, I guess. So I might turn around here. Yeah, Dead Space 3, I mean, all those spooky moons had to do something, you know? They, they got dumped by EA. What happens when Terra Bar feels completely? We get a nightmare. Spooky, spooky, bleedy mushrooms full of eyes and scariness. Yeah, remind me next week, uh, Jackal, because we raided someone yesterday. But um, remind me next week and we'll do it then. But make sure you do remind me. We'll make sure we do it. We'll definitely remind me and we'll do it. Alright, we lost quite a few crew members, and our terror's looking a bit dodgy. Uh-oh. We're fine. Yeah, spoopy, stupid, bleedy mushrooms. Ew, ew. Eh. Hello, Sean. You alright, dude? Chugga, 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 chugga. This is a really long way around that we've been, but I still think we want to go this way next, here. We need to go back to the circus to do this quest, so we might as well do it. Righto, pumpkin. Chugga, 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 chugga. We've done quite a few of the quests here now, I think. We might... I don't know if we want to move... I'm not quite sure, and it's been, it's been so long since I played this, I can't quite remember if we want to move on to the next area now, or when we get a new ship. I don't know how feasible it is, really. Oh, hello. Should probably beat this man up. Unless he's in the wrong way, which he might be. Yeah, fuck him. Oh, really, Molotov? Ah, uh, okay. Isn't that like, wasn't it, um, wasn't it said because of the joke in the B-movie, though? I believe. Oh, thank you, Froggy! Popping in to say hi, and it's my Ludiversary! So I guess boobs? I mean, always boobs, right? Yay, titties! Thank you very much, Froggy. Lovely to have you here, and uh, appreciate you popping in and uh, resubbing as well, so thank you very, very much. Right, back at the circus. Might be a case that we actually stop off a new Winchester now, then, since we've done a good loop. 
fire in the hold. As the strain on the crew increases, they begin to make mistakes. This one might prove fatal. Fire's broken out in the hold. Already orange flames are inching towards the carefully packed munitions you're transporting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Move the munitions away from the fire. You help the crew heave the munitions out of the hold while the fire rages. Eventually, it burns the Sylvan after claiming its tithe of your cargo. That's fine. Not ideal, but you know, sharpens. No worries, Rogi. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in a bit. Boobies? Yeah! Teds. So we need to go to the circus, don't we? Go behind the tent. Ah, here we go. Ask the humility musician about Hybris. The humility musician sighs the inspectual playbill. That pair of rogues. It'd be an insult to chicane if he ever had to call them charlatans. His shoulders sink. I would know. He stands and walks over to a cabinet in the far corner of his caravan. He opens a small drawer and produces a slim heart-shaped key. There's a locked suitcase in my old house in Port Prosper. It has a red door near the station. If you could fetch that for me, I should be able to help you. It has all my old paraphernalia. Okay, so we need to go to Port Prosper. Fine. We can get to New Winchester with this, for sure. Let's just go. Then we can sort ourselves out there. Hand our port reports in and be done. Boobies are the best kind of bees, right? Yes. Hey, Playful, how you doing? We're almost about to hit the... Uh, the, the terror crescendo, but... Here we go. Here in the heavens, there's no defense from the maddening light of the stars. Your crew, on edge, weary, and already haunted on their long journeys in the sky, are susceptible. One succumbs, and the madness leaps to another and another as quick as fire. Within a day, they rave with delusions and obsessions. Your engine's on the brink of disaster. Uh-oh. Barricade yourself. Care for the crew. Fail. As you step out amongst them, their heads lift, their eyes are lambent, like the eyes of lions. Interested in the hungry, their teeth bare, their sinews tense. You turn to flee back to the bridge and they pounce. End game. Oh, we died. Rip. That was unfortunate. Yeah, that was abrupt. I've never actually seen that one before. Right. Uh, I'm not sure where the last thing was. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's because because we're right near the um, nightmare threshold. I think, unfortunately. We should have probably barricaded ourselves. Yeah, we did die. Our captain died. If you're playing hardcore mode, that's it. You're supposed to pass on your legacy to a new captain or whatever. Because but because we haven't done uh, some of the stuff, we'd end up in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. For the sake of like streaming ease of use and not. Uh... Oh, same thing I guess. Let's barricade ourselves. Fail. Do we die again? Yep. I guess we're just gonna die. I'll try one more time. If not, we might have to pass on a legacy. We might we might just be screwed. Can we bring down the sanity level? I'm not entirely sure we can at the moment, unfortunately. I didn't think I didn't think we'd actually get an instant game over from the terror. I must be honest, but I guess so. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna lose regardless. Should we? I guess we should pass on to a new captain. So we gain. A f we keep a fair whack of our stuff. Okay, we inherited some sovereigns. 
Let's see. Uh, we lost our Jerusalem. Okay. We gained an experiment, a vision, a permit, a savage secret. Okay. So, who are we going to be this time, though? We were a street urchin last time. Let's be a... Let's be a soldier this time. Increase your mirrors. Increase your veils. Increase your hearts. We did. We had veils. La Let's do uh, mirrors then. The court of royal engineers. And we want to. Let's go for wealth again. A spooky one. Who should we be this time? No worries, Sean. I hope you can cool down a bit, dude. Alright, oh, playful. You name you name them. What are we gonna be named? Madame Ween, already. Madame Ween it is. Oops. Failed miserably. There we go. Madam Win. We start with 25, 10, 17, 10. Okay. Achieve a lot to do. Oh, we get to level up, don't we? Yeah. So take a facet. Okay. So we get some stats. So let's see. We need some hearts. We need some hearts and some. Uh, Veils as well then. A spell in prison. Let's do that. So we'll take the veils and hearts. We still have our time quietly. Okay. So we're a prisoner. And then what do we do after that? A mentor. Ooh, I like that. Hearts and iron and villainy. Yeah, let's be a, let's get villainy. A blind bruiser had attempted to distance himself from his lastness past for a mixed success. His guests were scarred and rough spoken, and told bloody tales of smuggling and thieves those. Alright. What we got here? An esteemed Ooh, an esteemed predecessor. Interesting. Ooh, like this. A battlefield. Five iron, three hearts. Five iron, three mirrors. Let's have a look. Yeah. An esteemed predecessor. An early captain of your lineage is held in high regards. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Are we going to be acad establishment? Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's go for the establishment this time. Where you drank tea and glass of port and ate delicate triangular sandwiches, but had to endure their endless questions about your forebearer. And last one then. A battlefield. Uh, a battlefield would probably be a good one. Veils or hearts? We probably want veils at this point. In defeat. In victory. Mm. In defeat, I guess. Let's do that. Let's be, let's be defeated. Okay. All right, so we got we got no peeps at the moment. We got a bit of money, and what's our what's our ship look like? Okay, our ship's actually fairly okay. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Okay, what's the map look like? The map is the same. Cool. That's actually really helpful as well. Okay, nice. So first things first, then we explore the city, we learn about trading, and get our first uh, trading opportunity. Visit the Promise of Days. I'm not going to read this again because we've uh, done this previously, but they'll give us a trading opportunity if we do all this. There we go. Trading opportunity. So we go to the bazaar and 
seeds to Magdalens. So we go to the bazaar, seeds to Magdalens. Excellent. Fern seeds can be reliably purchased at Hybris or the Lead Beater and Stain Rod Nature Reserve. Flowers for Titania. So we also need those for Titania. So we need lots and lots of seeds. Cool. Unfortunately, I know I don't know where the Lead Beater Reserve is, unfortunately. Crew, we could probably hire some more dudes. Hey Pinky. How you doing? You alright? Your ratty's alright? We don't have any officers, do we? We didn't rescue any, so... We'll take the uh, navigator as the first officer. He gives us iron veils and the establishment. You won't regret this, Captain. The navigator pumps your hand. He's an, an Imperial, a people descended from the ancient Mongolians and led by the Eagle Khan, whose technology opened the door to the skies. A passing skyfarer tussles with the navigator's hair. For luck, the woman says with a grin. The navigator rolls his eyes. She's from my last crew. They thought I brought them luck. I didn't, but I'm still a good hire. Cool. Is there anything else we want to do in this? No, we don't. Okay, so we got ourselves... Uh, so we need to do what we were doing previously, which is basically go around and get some port reports and get some money. I don't think we've got any missions still? Oh, we do. Do we keep... I guess we keep some of the money? What about the bank? Yes, we actually keep our bank. Wow, that's actually much less painful than I thought it was. That's actually really good. Okay, so we didn't lose that much in the end of the, at the end of it, really. So we lost a bit of money, but hey. In that case, we'll probably get one more fuel, I guess. There we go. Alright, time to go on a port report sc scrum. I still want to find out where the hell this thing was. I lost ammunition, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey. I don't know if Hybris has got people in there now. Alright. Frozen cherries. Aw, nice. But they're too orderly for making a little scene. Aw, typical. It's cute, though, that they managed to uh, have that, though. Alright, so we've got a plan. We need to go get some seeds. Bit of a bummer we lost some money there, but hey. We'll make do. We'll make do. Our crew went mad and ate us, so that's a bit unfortunate. This game's definitely way less strict about um, death, though. Also, hi, Mogs, you're right. We did find some bees, actually. We did find some bees. We'll actually probably see some more bees. I depend. I'm not quite sure if the world is still, uh, what's the right word, in the same state that we were in. I'll have to find out soon, I guess. Chugga 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 chugga. We got nothing in our hold right now. We got a bit of money, so we can make some money too. Oh, that's quite cute, Earth. Ratties to make us into a nest. It's because they care. Uh, no, it wasn't because of the bees. It was because of a planet with eyeballs that was turning, turning my uh, crew in completely and utterly fucking insane. Which was a real bummer. It's a shame because we didn't get the quest done I wanted to do, but... We've still got a lot of our stuff, so we're not actually starting really from scratch. We basically lost about 300. Which isn't too bad at the end of the day. Okay, the Anarchal Vagabond is... Oh, we actually need a Sky Stories. You want Sky Stories to sign on? Okay, so... So we write a port report. Uh, let's see. Let's let's visit the circus for a bit. Again. Enter the big top. Again, we've done all these, so I'll uh, do this and visit the amusements. There we are. So next time we're here, we'll do that again. Cool. Onwards. So we want to go to Hybris and get some seeds, probably. So we'll swing by. 
I really wish there was a better way to get the high res. Friggin' nuisance, but whatever. All the quests have to be done again? Um, I'm not sure. I think they might have to be, yeah. We didn't get very far with a lot of the quests, though, because we were still in the making money part of everything. We don't have the... Oh, we do have Captain Whitlock's legacy. We still... Yeah, so... It's still fairly... Yeah, it's still fairly as it was. I was a bit worried that would be more severe, but that's actually okay. want to start getting to a situation where we um, sort of start working out who needs what and start buying things up and making decent trades. The second we get a better ship will really sort of help. Back in the bleedy shrooms. Right, we're gonna go past the scary planet again, which will cause our terror to skyrocket, but we won't be around it for very much longer. So, we can't buy any supplies, I don't think. At, I don't know if Hybris resets itself back to the way it was. We lost our Jerusalem cannon as well, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey. Hey, Kalaya, how you doing? Chug a chug 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 chug. I got an achievement for dying because I never managed to pull it off before, which is kind of cool. I also like the fact it makes you level five. It's like, yeah, fuck it, yeah, ain't that bad. Right, we're gonna have to kill this guy probably. Seek unusual items this time, because we're actually not. Uh... Oh, we got some gossip. Very good. We actually need some stuff again. Cool. There's the horrible face fall. We need to really GTFO. The the less time we're around that nasty god awful thing, the better. The daydreamer. We will strip her for repairs. Jolly good. You got your vaccine today? Oh, nice! Oh, I'm really glad you got your stabsies. Quite a few people here have had their stabsies now. You're all, we're all part of the 5G crew. Once again, I must clarify, I am joking. Just in case anyone cuts that out of context later. Too late. Too late. Cancelled already. Enjoy my brain control. Yes. Galaxy brain. Oh, it's been so nice to have the windows open with the rain tonight. Like, it's lovely smell. Pretty cool. Thank you, pumpkin. We've got some new merch on the go soon as well. Very excited about that. Oh, yeah. Hybris has been deserted. Oh, yeah. We can nick everything, can't we? Yoink. I guess we were allowed to do that again. So three fuel and one supplies and two terror. That's absolutely fine. We'll write a port report since everyone's gone. Lovely, lovely. We can wander Hybris. We can actually do some other stuff if we want to, but I don't think there's much else to do. What we can do, however, is get some verdant seeds, of which we can buy five. Lovely, lovely. Right. We did write a port report for Hybris there, didn't we? I want to say we did. Yes. Hybris. Cool. Right then. If we run into any uh, spinsters, I think we'll just ignore them for now. A bit risky. Oh, wonderful. Okay, it's okay, it's gone straight in on me. Oh, there's actually a really big 
and the ogre. Dead, lose some terror. That's kind of handy. Die already, a big shitter. Yay! Scammed! 100% chance? Uh, yoink! I guess I've got enough um, iron on this character. Knack, we're gonna make a lot of money out of Bronzewood if we can fight those guys. All aboard the cheese train! Yeah, definitely take some ibuprofen for those who've had the jab. Really, really good idea. Don't do what I did earlier though. Don't take ibuprofen and not eat because it gives you tummy ache. Good shit. Feels like I've little needles in my stomach right now. Good stuff. He got stuck on the dead train. He deserved it. Right, come on, Madam Ween. We need to get some more officers as well, because getting extra uh, stats would be really handy. I did eat. I did eat. I had some fish later. I did eat. But I just didn't eat at the right time. Okay, there's... Interesting, there's a gateway over there. Be rude not to have a look, right? What the hell that is? Don't like your ear, Captain. Yeah, shit spooky. Anything else around here? Nope. Not sure what's around here, but we can have a look. Chugga 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 I don't like coming this far down It's a bit of a nuisance but Oh man this is Okay we can't actually go this way then This is the edge So it must be accessed through that way Yikes! Is your uh, is your mum right now, Jen? Okay, we'll just head back up and then we've already been to the circus, haven't we? So we want to go straight to the left, I guess. I felt really, really, really unwell. I kind of I was a bit sick um, on the second jab and felt crap for the next morning and then after I sort of had a nap which I never do either uh, I was so I was so like blasted out um, I felt fine I just needed that like exhaustion moment I guess and then uh, I was alright uh, a month in a chair oh that sucks Damn. Wee -wee. I wonder if we'll be able to get the same quest we had before, like getting the the, pic the picketty dude again, because it would be kind of be kind of fun to get those quests. I want to see how those play out. Marauders nearby. So. Oh, there's something up here. 
for sure what. Uh, asteroid. Okay. Is everyone okay with me basically like just tooting around the skies? But I know we haven't really got a crazy goal except make some money and just see shit at the moment. Is everyone alright with that? Like, I don't know how exciting that is, <laughs> but uh, it seems to be working. It's chill? Good stuff, alright. Good evening, Alethia. Hey, oh, hey, Momo. It's relaxing. Hey, it's better to come in. Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. It's a very different kind of game, but I, li I, li I do like the... Uh, it's very. I find it really creepy and sort of uh, oppressive in atmosphere. Yay, Clarista honey. Oh, we've got some bronze wood, right? So we can keep the Clarista honey and the bronze wood and we can drop that off at the um, the Albert clock. Which is which would be really good. Oh, I'm, really, I'm glad you enjoy it, Law. Uh-oh. This is going to be more dangerous. We haven't got our cannon anymore. percent chance of getting bees. We can't risk it at the moment, so we'll just gain experience. Clarista Corpse, 150 XP. Oh, and we leveled up, so we'll do that as well. Right, what we got this time? Nothing cool. We've got, uh, let's see, Steam and Soot, a lost love. That's a memory of inspiration. Hearts, that gives us hearts. Hearts and mirrors or hearts and iron. We kind of want, uh, Steam and soot, we want... Mm, we need veils, really, or mirrors. Okay, that's actually fine. We spent loads of time at the engine yards. Learning how engines worked. You appropriated the workbench and tools and set to work, just manning the obscure machinery and putting it back together again. Nice. So we gained quite a lot of, um, we've got, we're really good actually on iron right now. Nice. That's really handy. The Maltese and beer. Yeah, beer is quite an interesting one, I think. Honestly, Spectacular Man, you couldn't go any, you couldn't go wrong playing this. It's really fun, and every game's going to be very different. This game seems lit. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's hard, as we found out. We we died already once. Right, we're gonna move. They're gonna make a jump at us. Thirty percent chance, and we've got a eighty-four percent chance of getting experience. We'll do it. We'll take experience for now. I don't need to lose crew right the second. Is that another hive? Yes, we've got another hive. Some more close to honey for our trouble. Oh shit! There's bees everywhere. More experience for us. Good stuff. Ouch. Can't hear anything. Bees everywhere. Nice. Yeah, we'll just take the XP each time. That's actually a really good way of getting XP. Cool. There's more? Oh no, they're just, I think they're just dying ones. Cool. We need to get some supplies, but that's really solid. We'll get some money for dropping off the seeds here as well, which is good. 
Peace! Ooh. We need more mirrors. Yeah, we do. Good stuff. Some more death hymns of the bees. Bees! They killed the load-bearing bee. Yeah, you kill like the one bee and it all goes kaboom. Get wrecked bees. Good stuff, right. Made it to Titania. We'll get us a port report. Oh, Oberon's landing. Right, a port report. I like that the world is basically the same state we're in, which is good. So we know exactly what's going on. So we want to go back to the square. Go to the Arctic Exhibition. We'll lose some terror that way, which is great. And then we go to the bazaar and we give them... Oh, they actually want five seeds. Okay. Well, why not? Cool. Gained a lot of experience and some sovereigns, which is great. We don't need any military reproof literature right now, so... We do need some supplies, though. I'll take three. And how many fuel? Two. For 160. Cool. Gained a decent chunk of change there. I still think there might be something up here. I think we can now, knowing that we've... We can swing by Port Avon as well, but I think we should go this way. What's the hardest difficulty in EDF, then? Uh oh Oh, shit. Bees are so noisy. They are mega loud, those bees. They're really dangerous, too. Cool. Damn. We've got to be a little bit careful. We are. Bees, 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 bees. All right, so we took a fair bit of damage, but I think, depending depending on what enemies we run into from now on, we might have to run, but we'll see. See, this is all the foresty stuff. Ah, we might want to repair our hull if we're for shit. Cool. Oh, that's really good. Nice. We'll kill both of these if we can. Okay, we're getting some sovereigns. That'll pay for 10 HP. Amazing, but sure, we'll take it. And we got some salon gossip. Okay. So we actually do come out on top. We got way more health, so that kind of worked out. <laughs> also, do I ask one the crewmates with the dead captain also gone? They kind of reset, yeah. So we'll be able to pick them up again. I think they just take some time to reappear. Oops. Yeah, like the story the story based crew can't can't be lost, like properly lost. Something over there, fine. I think I think the nature reserve is actually going to be over this way somewhere. Is my suspicion. Yes, it is this way. I'm pretty sure. Scary wind area. There's 
squiggly of eels, but I'm pretty sure it should be around... Oh, Shit. We'll press on. We failed. What did we lose for that, then? Two crew member and gain ten terror. Right. Damn, there's stuff up here, but it's not what I hoped it would be. Oh, fuck. That's not good. This is bad. Okay. Too many bees. I was pretty sure there should be something over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Ten thousand streams. The Regent's Tears. It's said that the lakes at the top of the Regent's Tears have curative properties. This rumor goes largely unconfirmed. That the ground by the lakes is too boggy to land a locomotive. Instead, you must land on a sharp, slippery ledge. Interesting. A hooded woman, half concealed in the spray, waits by the waterfall. You're here for the region's lakes, she says, with a thick London accent. Let's do that then, see what we get. The woman leaps from ledge to foothold. She is sure-footed, apparently oblivious to the thundering roar of the waterfalls. Oh, that's annoying, Peggy. Oh, I'm sorry, it's crashing so much. When you finally reach the top, you help each other over the edge. Only now can you see that she's crying. She has wept endlessly for years. The tears run down grooves in her cheeks that have been worn there by the constant weeping. She gestures towards the water. Welcome. May the region's lakes nourish you. The view at the top of the lakes is dizzying. The forest is so large and you are so small and so high that all perspective is lost. Only your locomotive, small as a matchbox, breaks the illusion. You step back from the drop and turn to the lake. It is huge. You can't make out any of the details of its uh, far shore. Stream rises sluggishly from the surface. Let's go in it. Immerse yourself in the lake. There are a group of infamous Hellraisers, known from the old London clubs. I never heard of the gossip pages of the lower bow, uh, lower brow broadsheet group. Yet here they are, as calm as the waters. One acknowledges your reputation with a rueful smile. We came here for a lark, but it all seems so pointless now. Oh, we just we've done that before. Okay. Another hive. Which health we got? There's something else up here too. Loads of hives. I was really hoping we'd find a uh, station around here. It might be down this way to be fair. There's something in there too. We're mostly okay. Our terror is actually surprisingly low, but our hull damage is pretty bad. Did he find anything? Yes! Yes, we found it! Good. I can finally. Well, that's good news. And hopefully another easy port to get to, too. And we got a metric fart... Oh, there's a spinster behind us. Yeah, let's not do that. We got a fart ton of uh, nectar. This should be the lead bait of reserve, I want to say. Am I right? Am I right? The forest edge. Oh no, this is Traitor's Wood. Okay, this is something else. The wood's edge. Okay. We can gather flowers, hunt in the trade. Oh, we might get a cage catch. 58% chance. Let's try it. Let's hunt in the Traitor's Wood. Fail. Do we lose crew for our trouble? <laughs> a trail of cloven hoof print leads into the woods, taking your sharpest gunners. You track their maker. 
gloom turns to dark as you head deeper into the forest. Twigs snap beneath your feet as loud as breaking bones. The wood around you is entirely silent. How long has it been like that? There are few of you than there were. A stoker claims you can hear someone calling, but the search proves fruitless. A campfire. Three figures draped in scholar's robes huddled around a campfire. They're arguing about kings. A banner in the cumber of Somerset, London's university's most respectable college, gleams in the firelight. As you approach, the discussion dies. One of the scholars, a woman with a fierce expression, stands up. Only scholars should be here. Are you one? No, but I'm not going to give them any fucking supplies either. And the parting glade. This is where we can do our port report? Yeah. Nice. Outside of the Somerset camp, the great forest of the Bronzewood trees have gone untouched by human hands. Voices sound in the deepest deep of the woods, forlorn and far away. The wood is vast and vastly lonely. Recruit! Oh, we can actually recruit. Okay. okay. We need to recruit them. Yeah! So we got our uh, incautious dri uh, driver back again, which is great. We can explore the glade. There's no one else here at present, but there are signs of recent passage. A discarded set of cups from some clandestine picnic. Loose paper hastily torn from a notebook. A few bullets in the scorched grass. People come to the glade to conduct meetings as neutral ground, and as a place to think, secluded from the watchful gaze of the high wilderness. If we approach the tent, is there anyone? Oh, that's the Somerset College peeps. Okay, fine. They were bronze wood we can get here, and we can buy bronze wood and supplies. We'll buy a supply. Buy two supplies. I believe. Cool, we can get a Magdalene's now. We need to get some more crew though. Looking a bit dodgy. So we got our, we got our driver back, who gives us uh, let's see, two hearts, six iron, which is great. So we've actually got some decent stats now, I want to say. Yeah, looking really really solid. So we can murder the shit out of things, which is great. We're gonna have to buy another cannon at some point. Bitches love cannons, right? Or so I've been told, anyway. I, I have no idea what the friggin' hell the, um... It must, it must be something here. I swear, it must be here somewhere. Because that's where the wind is. So is I... Oh, I don't know. I'm suspicious. I think it's around there. We're, still, we're definitely missing something. Yay, tea! What up, Dolphin? You alright? Bitches love the not cannon. Oh, fucking yes. Shit's not cannon. I mean, not blowing up was not cannon, obviously. Chug, 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 woo, woo! Right, when we get to Magdalene's, we'll lure our terror a bit, we'll get some more crew, uh, and then... I guess we'll just do a whole loop. We'll go to Port Prosper, Carillion, and then to New Winchester. I still think there's a fucking thing here. But it's less important right now. We need to get some more seeds as well. We need three more, but we haven't got any right now because we're rubbish. We can, however, drop the bronze wood off. We can? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Who the fuck is Perkins and why do they have their own copes? Good stuff. Right, we'll go to the keepsake market and recruit crew from the market. I don't know how many we're going to get. Two. I mean, two's good. Alright. Treat my nightmares. We'll treat... Our terror's not looking too bad, but we could try and treat it. i got one savage secret. We've got one gossip. Yeah, let's do the... Let's do the uh, treatment for guilt. We've done this one before, but... Uh, Yeah, there we go. We'll do the former crew in one. Perfect. We've done that one before, but I want to sort of do the ones we've done previously and make sure that's, uh... 
Speak with the watcher by the station. Oh yeah, we can't do that yet, can we? Speak with the attendant. Right. Oh yeah, we want to write a poll report while we're here. Jolly good. The amenable host. I wonder if we'll get the same quest as we did before. Let's find out. Yeah, listen to his request. Let's see. Yes, he's doing exactly the same thing about a difficult guest. That's fine. We will do that now. So this quest line is basically a man who got a bit too addicted to Magdalene's. And now we need to deal with him. Which we will disguise ourselves as his mother. Mama. There we are. Sorted. So what... The only reason I'm skipping this text is because we did it not, like, literally a stream ago, but because uh, we died. There we are. He's happy. He gives us some sovereigns, which is wonderful. And we're all good. Jolly good. Do I need to buy anything? Let's have a look. Let's go to the shops. At the bazaar, we need seeds, which we don't have. And they're selling hours. And they're selling souls, which is interesting. Might get some fuel. Right then, we are going to go... We're going to go the safe way, which is going to go straight along... Oh, just like that. We're not his mother, no. Madam Ween was not his mum. Whoa! That's bad. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright. So we've got some repairs on the go, which is, like, pretty good. Yeah, the angry, the angry sky, sky madmen are uh, pretty salty. What did we get? What did we even get from that? Was it fuel? Oh, no, it's some music, munitions we got from that. This is a scrying thing, isn't it, here? Which I don't think we have the scry. No. I think that gets you XP or sky stories or something, which is kind of cool. I'm just sad we lost our ratty crew. That was so sad. Oh, we are so happy that we got the ratties, and then we blow up, and the ratties are in a skate pod, obviously, because the ratties will never die. Yes, my airship is a train. We're in a sky train. Poor ratties, they didn't deserve that. Choo choo, motherfucker! Deeks had the pleasure of uh, naming one of our ships a couple of years ago. It was the SSB Nut. It was a fine ship. Maximum bees. Oh, thank you, pumpkin. Right, we're going straight out to Port Prosper. We did have a quest for this place, of course, originally, which we don't now, because we're useless, but hey. The Kraska? Right, let's... What can we do with the Kraska? Nick... Nick her for hole. Excellent. We'll get the ratties back. Ooh, how shiny. These are the real burly ones. We'll probably work for London this time. I was being a little bit less... I was being a bit cautious last time, but I think we'll just work straight up for London. I'm really glad we found another camp though, another another station. There might be a station here as well, potentially. I still think there's a station here. I might try and swing by Carillion on the way and try and find it. Chugga 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 woo woo! Port Prosper! Cool. We can lower our terror while we're here as well, which is fantastic. This is the relay to where London, where you can get to London. Right. Oh, the Incognito Princess. How much money do we have? We want. That's a first officer. We do need her. Yeah, we'll just take her. Why the hell not? Cool. We got the princess back. Transport for settlers. Where would they like to go? 
Port Avon. Wow, that's nice and easy. So we'll do that. A new clock tower. Here we go. Deliver the materials. A cheer from the scaffolding. The form of beams. An angel bringing gifts. Actually, point out you'll be needing payment. You're paid extremely well for the delivery, and the foreman shakes you warmly by the hand. Won't take us no time now. Maybe we should name the damn clock after you, eh? We gained five fortunes to stove pipes. Nice. Gain we lost a Gorda Clarissa Nectar and some bronze wood, but we gained 800 sovereigns. Damn. Now that was worth. We'll write a port report. Excellent. We'll attend the parade. Again, I'm not reading this because we did it previously, just for the sake of time. We're going to mingle with the EastEnders. There we are. So we'll do that next time we're here. And we'll talk to this guy. And this guy wants us to kill Takatees. You'll hunt Takatee locomotives to provide their nameplates. Sure. Excellent. So if we kill any Takatees, we'll get nameplates we can sell to this guy, which is lovely. Which is what we didn't do last time. But since we'll work for London, this time we will. Uh, the Windward Company. There's nothing here, really, we want to do. Right, at the bazaar. Bargains is souls. They're doing souls here. But we want supplies, obviously. And fuel. So we're four and four, which isn't too... Actually, I might buy one more fuel. I think that's a little bit cutting it, but a little bit fine. So we've got our port report. Time to go. Damn, 800 sovereigns, guys. That was alright. That was really, really good. That was well worth it. We've had that quest kicking on for a while as well, so that's nice. Okay, I guess we'll swing by. We'll swing this side to go to Carillion, then down this way, I think. Yeah, that'll really help us out. That'll really, really help us out. And once we get all our port reports in as well, we'll have a decent chunk of change. We might better buy a new ship. Or we'll do something, maybe. Well, at the very least, once you start getting money, we can then continue to make money and whatnot, so... <laughs> Imperialist ween, I know. For queen and country. Thank you very much, Veronica. It's lovely to see you. On a 16-month, 16-month streak, no less. Damn, thank you very, very much. You are absolutely wunderbar. Thank you very much, Veronica. It's good to have you here. A cryptic stoker wants to hold a memorial service for the crew that have died in your service. Judging by his tattoos of a storm studded with mouths and his rattling collection of talismans, the ceremony is unlikely to be Christian. Uh, you find a place at the back of the room and remove your hat. There we go, we'll approve and attend. The cryptic stoker has painted his face storm grey. His talismans rattle like distant thunder. He orders the windows open to let the sky in and proceeds to deliver his rites, a mishmash of an Anglican, an Anglican, sorry, Anglican practice, new sequence hymns and nonsense. In his patchwork ceremony, he speaks of an inadequacy of the present and the sanctity of the past, where the dead still live. He speaks of a storm that gathers the loss of voice onto itself. So one of the gods has noticed this now, which is Storm, I believe, from Sunless, I guess, some Sunless Seas? Or the equivalent, maybe. There was Storm, Salt, and I forget who the other one was. Straight down, we'll get to Carillion. This is going to be a really good payday. We've got loads and loads of stuff. New ship, new ship, I certainly hope so. I don't know if we'll ha how much money we'll exactly have, but we'll, t we'll try. I really want to find all the ports. That's the big one. Because once we've found all the ports, we can we can literally do... We can go by mission by mission and whatnot. And do. Also, it, although I wonder if we want to go to Port Avon? On the way past? No, it probably wouldn't be worth it, actually. We'll probably hand in, then go to Port Avon. Like, in that order. Notice me, Storm Senpai. And the god's like, I notice you. And he's like, And he's like, Ugh. And he's like, Ugh. He's like Ugh. Uh oh. We'll ignore that little weird penis with wings. The Garden of Insatiable Roses. Storm Gaps is Don't worry, Captain Queen, you're the chosen one. Right, we are going to uh, travel around Carillion. Is there anything we want to... No, we can't yet, can we? 
What is actually at the bazaar? Bargains available, unseasoned hours, that's fine. Nectars and supplies, again, not that interested, we're all good. We want to go into the foyer, write a port report, as per usual. We'll talk to the Devilist. I don't know if there's anything we can do at the moment, but we'll see if she has anything for us. I don't think there's anything, it's mostly just souls and stuff, but... I don't think she actually says anything different. We've met her. One should not enter if one does not know how to leave. Most people go home again, she says. Some find that they are weary of their souls and pass them on to us. We operate on that slender profit and what we can get from donations or from the sales of penance and forgiveness. She looks at the blank page before her. What was about you? You look sturdy enough to make full use of our services. Are you afraid of needles? What is your view of worms? What do you fear more, venoms or poisons? She takes a page or two and done your least favourite things. Sounds unpleasant. Listen to your proposal and gain access to the terraces of Carillion. Listen, she says. You are free to make use of Carillion. Take a penance or two. Alter your soul. I think you'll find our services very imaginative. There is another matter I hope you'll look into. A devil in rose-coloured gloves. He used to supervise the gaslight at the gaslight terrace. <laughs> you believe this? <laughs> I don't. You do! <laughs> he used to supervise the gaslight terrace. He was removed from that position, but I fear he may not be entirely aligned with the objectives of Carillion. If you find out anything about him, anything to his disadvantage, bring me the evidence and I shall reward you. Cool. So we can now go to Carillion, into the centre, which we didn't do earlier, which is great. So let's go travel around Carillion now. We can we can be uh, depraved. We can gain enlightenment. Uh, we can gain a shift of perspective. Gain an ordeal. Gain excess. Sand garden, the terrace. I don't know what we can do here, actually. Let's be deprived. That sounds fun. Wait. You put your foot in the first seven, the devil blocks you. Those who went at the bell garden must be in a proper state of hygiene, madam. Wouldn't want things worse for the poor sufferers. He washed his hands in the fountain, stopping. You must have been grubby work. Oh, we're too. F we're not filthy enough. Oh, we're too filthy. Alright. We're not allowed in. We got we're not even allowed to be deprived. We're too smelly. We've been turned away. We can't even hold hands with people. I feel I feel I feel quite upset about it. Sounds like someone's trying to murder somebody. Filth! Filth! Oh, hello. I see murder. I guess we should shoot them. Nice. Seize its cargo. Yoink. We got a tack we got a taxi plate and a gourd of Clarissa Nectar. Yoink. Oh that was I thought that was someone else, but it's uh We'll see we'll explore the captain's cavern and seek unusual shit. There we are. We'll kill everyone. We ain't fussy. Yeah, we need to brutally murder the taxis we come across. It seems a bit tight because we're working for the man now, but you know. Chugga 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 chugga. I mean, we are part of the establishment with our officers and with the princess as well, I think. Good old murder hobo, exactly. We're MMOing. Yay! Oh, hello. Yoink. 
Yoink. Nice, we'll get a nice repair as well. Easy peasy. And straight down to New Winchester. That's been a really good loop. We've got lots of stuff. Our terror is pretty okay. We've got a mission to go to Port Avon for something. Good stuff. I forget what we're going to Port Avon for. But... Chugga 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 murder! Murder 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 murder. The clamor of new winches can be heard on the wind, familiar as a disagreeable uncle. Like it? Polish the shaft, Gruber! Right. Right, we're going to the company house is where we want to um, get this quest done, so we can hand in all these port reports and make lots of money. Delicious, delicious money. Here we go. Propaganda at Carillion? Ooh. What's this? Wolsey Station above with the rumour of bad business at Carillion. Badder business as usual. Allegedly the devils have been prophesizing against the Takatees to the guests. Some of who's a very uh, very influential indeed. The Wimmer Company has issued a carefully worded denial of any collusion. Uh, the injured veteran has put out a request for information. She refuses to go near the place herself. Investigate the rumours. Yeah, let's do it. I've lost a savage secret, but you know. Alright. The prudent secretary. Deliver my port reports. There we go. Bonk. We gained seven gratitude, 700 sovereigns. Gained some, for uh, gained some fortunes. Nice, nice, nice. We've already got a pat planet. Uh, trade for invitation to Perdurance. We will need that, probably. Chat with the secretary. Is there anything we can do here? Oh, they're just telling us what we need to do. That's fine. Let's get an invitation to Perlerans. I think we will need one of those. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Cool. That's that. So we'll go to New Winchester now. Right, so we've got quite a bit of dosh, I think. Uh, yeah, almost 2k. Almost 2k. Not bad at all. Possibly not enough for a new new ship, but we'll have a look. At the very least, we can upgrade our guns and hold and some other stuff, which just make life a bit easier. There we are. Excellent. I still want my ratties back, but you know. Uh, right, hire on crew. We definitely need crew. There we go. We got five crew. Excellent. So we're actually restocked on crew, which is good stuff. Uh, we probably need to repair a locomotive to full. We can't do that, apparently. Oh. Three sovereigns per point. Cool, that's not very expensive at all. Nine sovereigns to get the full hull. Can you carry upgrades over? Yes, you can for, from ship to ship, which is really nice. Seed for Lustrum's free colonists. This looks dodgy. Nectar for Magdalens. That's also really good. Generous payment. Seven sacks of verdant steeds to deliver to the hangman at Lustrum. Damn it! I still have no idea where Lustrum is. East, North, East, and New Winchester. Fine. We need to get... The Lead Beater and Stain Rod Nature Reserve or Hybris. Again, I have no idea where all of that stuff is. That's really annoying. Anyway, fine. We got those. Cool. So, let's see. The Victorian Market. The Bank. Right, let's put crap in the bank that we don't need. Right, the second. So we know what we're looking at. Cool. Anything else we can do on the station while we're here? If we enter the city... Oh, it's the Pernickety Factor. Actually, we'll do them again. Because we did... We, I see, so the, basically the quest reset. Cool, so we can go back to Hybris for that then. Cool. Good stuff. So in the city we've got nothing else to do. That's fine. What does the Mr. Menagerie do? You can buy scouts from Mr. Menagerie. Okay. 
Star Smitten Bat. Have we got anything else we can do? Oh my god, a guinea pig! That's hilarious. So you need an arastron a ratronaut. Oh my god, I want a ratronaut. I need higher mirrors for that though. I want a ratronaut. Alright. A note from Mr. Menagerie. Read the note. Where's Mr. Menagerie got to? Oh, that they've gone to um, the uh, circus. That's fine. Okay. What's the ambition wells? Oh, we need to purchase a mana with 5,000 sovereigns. Nah, we're good. We're good. Thanks. Okay, so what we can do now then is... Let's have a look. What do we want? We want the Brass Raven. We've got one of those already. That's a shotgun. That gives us plus four hold. And plus one butchery. That's actually pretty decent. The Grimalkin requires mirrors at 25. So we can't do that yet. A lot of this we can't do at the moment. That's a missile. Decent damage. A sneeze lurker. A mine. Okay. Six crew, tier two. Faster movement speed, but it uses fuel consumption? So I guess that uses more fuel, but we move a bit faster. I'm not sure if that's actually worth it. Honestly. We definitely need another weapon, though. I think this will be quite good, I think. We'll buy one of those. And I think we'll also get the canning. It's quite expensive, but I think it's worth. So we look at the hold, right. So, that's plus five holds. So we get rid of that. And instead we put that in there. So that gives us four hold and one butchery. So we can actually butcher stuff now, which is good. We put this in the gun shop. And we'll sell the, uh, the additional cargo bay for a little bit of what we paid. Cool. So we've got 951 remaining. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. So we're all fully repaired. We've got some things we need to do. Good stuff. So we're going to need... If we're going for a big trip, we're going to need some more stuff. So we're going to need three and three. So that gives us six... Uh, hmm. Actually. That should be fine. And how much Clarissa Nectar do they need? Three to Magdalene's. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So we need to go back to Magdalene's. Then we need to try and find the lead beater reserve as well. So Magdalene's is a nice, easy trip at least. So that's our new, we got a shotgun, like a scatter shotgun, which is really cool. This game's on PC? No, it is on console as well. Switch, uh, con PS4, and everything, I think. Yeah, we basically got us a shotgun, which I think will be really handy against things that like getting close. We also have a canning thing now, which is good. We've lost one hull, but we gained the ability to butcher, which I think is actually really handy. We can gain supplies a lot easier on journeys now. Especially if we find some of the little gribblers. Am I going to head to Albion, Eleuthery, or the Blue Kingdom? Probably Albion to do some of the London stuff, because I think that's a bit easier. I remember the Blue Kingdom absolutely kicking my ass last time. It could be because I'm a, a humongous bad, but I think it's probably it'd be safer to go that way. Right, 
Alright, well, so there's Clarissa next to Magdalene. Is this a dead end? I'll be pretty sad if it is. The Belfair Owl. Our mirrors isn't good enough. We'll mourn the dead to lose some terror. And then we need to swing by Port Avon, don't we, as well. I really, really want to find the nature reserve. And then we want to find Lustrum. That's our two that's our that's the last two things on the map to find, I think. Once we've found everything, and I'm convinced we've done all that, we can then move to the next area. And we've got most of the upgrades available for our ship as well, which is good. When do we traffic drug like a British Walter White? That's a good point, actually. I mean, we're, 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 we're trudging around Clarista Nectar, which is pretty, uh, pretty dodge. So that kind of works too. This game has space window in it as well, which is great. Right, okay, well, Magdalene's house is more comfort. Uh, we will speak, write a port report. Excellent, and then we'll go to the bazaar and get rid of the nectar for 240 each, which is incredible amounts of money. Friggin' bargain. That is really, really good. Cool. Right, we're going to head to the Somerset camp, I guess. I guess we'll go that way and get more Clarissa Nectar, I guess. I mean, sometimes you do have to tap into the emergency rations, it's true. Although last time it seems like the crew tapped into my, my emergency rations. Delicious captain meat, which wasn't great. Mm, should I go to the camp first or Port Avon, I wonder? Do both. I could go that way. I don't know. That was a really, really nice uh, bar. Oh, hello. Is that spooky? Yeah, right. Let's test out our shotgun then. We'll get nice and close. And then. Absolutely shrugged. Cool. Almost there now. I bet I bet you'll get a trait for a level up if you get uh, the delicious man eater. Madam Wynn loves eating man. True that. Right, and we're at the forest edge. Jolly good. Since we've got so much extra money, we can buy we can safely buy loads of more fuel and stuff for our little journey. So we go to the woods edge. Yeah, we actually got a hunt. Cool. What are we going to get this time? We have a caged catch. A keen eyed stoker spies tracks leading into the woods. You follow them. Birds cry out on the canopy ahead of you, startled by something moving. You quicken your pace. Your quarry slows, allowing you to catch it. It stands in a corpse of silverwood. Sorry, a copse of silverwood. A proud stag with its many tin triple crown. Its majesty does not spare at your bullets. It takes five people to carry it back to your engine. Cool. Yoink. Parting Glade, we'll write a port report. Excellent. I don't think there's anything else with the tents, with the college. We give them a supply, sure. Let's do it. Let's see what let's see what happens. The 
Vituperative ca classicist compares your offering with the burnt toast and wan tea they've been suffering on. Well, all right, I suppose. The woman is a classicist, <laughs> but compa but her companions a dismal paleographer, a forlorn young man, and a feckless theologian, a handsome youth with an easy smile. They explain they're here to enter the regent's grave, where they believe a sleeping king lies buried. They do not agree to the king's identity. Unfortunately, the college has cut our funding. Speak to us if you'd be interested in helping. How we can help? I guess we can ask how we can help them, okay. Right, how can we help them? You can begin an expedition. Okay, that's it. You inquire about the rare... You, your inquiry is a rare spirit of cooperation in the scholars. The last expedition to the woods found a document written in the correspondence. It contained directions in a place called the Steward's Font, theologian explains. Alas, that is all it needs is to break their alliance. The paleographer begins to argue that the steward was a chief position in Charlemagne's household. Classicist makes a point of reference to Inanna's husband. The theologian's smile is forced. If you could find the font, it'd be an immense boon to my work. Oh, our work. So we can actually begin an expedition if we wanted to. I guess we could speak to them and see what they say. I think we're going to need loads of supplies and stuff here first, so we'll just say no for now. We're not going to make an expedition. Because I think you need, yeah, you need prepare for a large expedition. We need lots of crew, lots of supplies. This is good for later, I think. But for now, it's a bit risky. Right then. Bronze wood at the shop and supplies. Let's go. Right, if we go straight down, I'm kind of curious. Let's see what... No, no worries, die. An army of bees? Oh no, we actually probably are going to run into some bees down this way. There's something spooky down here with like a scary hand, which usually means mass terror and or death. So, but, you know, let's go shove our face into it. Traitor's wood. Okay. I love wood. Excellent. We can reduce terror and we can get supplies. We can eat our fill. We haven't got much terror. Sure, let's get some extra supplies. That's actually really useful. I mean, chances are if you accept their dinner proposal, you might be eating people, so fucking who knows. Oh, we're actually heading the wrong way, but we're heading towards Port Avon, which we wanted to head to anyway, so I guess that kind of worked out. The Pale Wood. Okay. The Pale King lies in the Pale Wood. The Pale King with his multiple faces and his crown of eyes. He sits upon the Yellow Throne full of blood. You know, standard stuff. Port Avon should be just a little bit further. Here it is, in fact. We haven't been to Port Avon with this captain yet, I don't think, so we well, should have a few bits to do. We can get some fuel here, too. What are we supposed to bring Port Avon, anyway? That's, that's seeds for Magdalene's and Lustrum. Okay. What are we going to do with the caged catch, I wonder? Flashbooks to the Darkwood LP, yeah. Darkwood was so, so, so good. What if that team's gonna make another game? I'm not really a big, big Disc Elysium fan, I don't think. Um, I don't know, from what I saw of it, it didn't look like my cup of tea. Oh yeah, drop off the Settler. Here you go. You made good time and they should reward you well. 150 sovereigns. Nice. And some experience. Cool. Oh, the repentant devil. He's our signaler, right? Yoink. Glorious. Right, Port Avon. Right, Port Report. Uh, let's 
Let's see, we want to go, what do we want to do in Port Avon? We want to... Don't we want to go to the pub? The Nowhere Inn? Yeah. Appreciate an amount of cider. There we go. We've appreciated. The taste is so sweet and so aptly and so heart-twangingly, breath-catchingly nostalgic, it'd be easy to miss the kick. What a dangerous little beverage. Drink judiciously and allow yourself one more mug. Every sip reminds you of a world that is lost somewhere at the far end of the universe. Well, that's nice. The short-sighted cryptozoologist. Hmm. Oh, but there's a Blemigan. I want to talk to the Blemigan. We did this before. I want the Blemigan. Set this bar tab. Yeah. The Blemigan is looking for sign on for one last journey. Here you go, Blemigan. Yes. As the future gentleman inflates for the particularly prolonged diatribe about ill-mannered captains and their disorderly pets, the Blemingham climbs to the bar top to consider your face. He likes what it sees. With a sound like a shoe being pulled from a swamp, the Blemingham finishes its drink. It clambers up your arm until it reaches your shoulder, from where it directs you to the door. It is experienced in surviving the cold of the heavens, and the heat of those two cowardly to traverse them. He respects you. It will serve you well. We got a Blemingham. Yay! Uh, let's see... Speak to the short-sighted cryptozoologist. A tiny figure weighed down by two backpacks and a heavy duffel coat looks through thick glasses at her map and then up at you. Excuse me, I need passage. I don't see you can help me. I'm on a trail of unusual beasts and I can pay for your time. Sure. Where do you want to go? Hybris. She leans conspiratorially, knocking over every glass on the table. There's a colony of singing blemigans there. You know, the little mushrooms with teeth. I'm a huge fan of their poetry, and I love to hear what they're singing about. Cool. We'll head upstairs as well now. We got a funky friend. The thick cigar smoke falls through the air, filling this private chamber with premium grade fog. Bloated gentlemen in well-worn military uniforms sit at mahogany. Mahogany. Sipping port. They chunder about the old days and how much better they were. So can we join the club? Need to gather a Canterbury trophy. Clarissa Trophy and a Scry Spencer Trophy. Okay. So basically they're asking us for murder trophies. That's absolutely fine. I mean, you know, it's not fine because, you know, it's bad, but still. Have I got any... Have I got any can I have a quiet day in Port Avon? Cheap repairs? No. Cheap fuel? Oh, we want cheap fuel. Yeah, that's actually really good. Nice. They want this... Oh, we can buy some seeds. Perfect. Nice. That's actually really good. Cool. So, we actually need to go back to Magdalene's then, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, still, we'll drop those off. What's the best way to go to Magdalene's from here? Up and round, I guess. Sure. Hey, Lion. I'm not too bad. How are you? So, we've got a fungi friend, which gives us... Fucking Blemican. Prod your Blemigan. I don't want to prod my Blemigan. She gives us two hearts and six mirrors. Six iron and two veils. We actually probably want her in charge right now. Oh. <laughs> Blemigan. Two iron and one mirrors. What a fine Blemigan. And Signal gives us two iron and six veils. We've actually got quite a bit of extra stats now then. So if we look at my captain now. We got 20 plus 1, 18 plus 8, 21 plus 6. So we're actually much better off, which is really good. Oh, here we go. Here's a cat to carry. Let's see if we can murder it and then skin it alive. Oh, there's another one here. You'll do. There we go. Oh, we'll collect a trophy. Yoink. Eh, yeah, well. Not quite what I planned, but hey, we'll take it. Aha. There we go, we can disperse the rubble, look for an uncanny- Oh, we can't actually get this one, so we'll just lose some terror. Mm. Right, back we go then. We'll give this to the- Oh, we've got to come back. We've got to come back, so we need to go to Magdalene, so we'll do it on the way back, otherwise it's a waste of fuel, I think. Oh, we've done this before as well. Again, I've read this, like, a, like a set of guys, so we'll just, uh... Oh, we leveled up. Nice. 
Cool beans. And we talk to him and he gives us a quest, basically, where we gotta go to the Avid Horizon. Fine. No problemo. Good stuff. And we leveled up. So, let's take a facet, get some more stats. So we've got this one, which is hearts... Ooh, that's spooky. Scary. That's a Tale of Terror, and that gives us Tale of Terror and a Vision of the Heavens. This one's well worth it, so we'll take this. Hearts, Veils, or Iron. Let's have a look. We want... Probably more Veils at this point, to be honest. There we are. Hello, Meggy. Meggy! We got this one wild Meggy. Cool, we've actually got some decent levels under our belt, and getting more and more stats, of course, makes life so much easier. But we're not going to get any of the really, really good um, equipment until we get to the next area. Right, let's make some easy money. Those will get us bronze wood if we've got a mining component, but we don't right now. Bing, 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 bing. Exactly. Bing, 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 bing. No, if I say, Maggie, she sort of stops and says, Look, hello. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, there's actually a homestead here. We might really get some goodies. That's really handy. Whenever we spot these, we should do them. Oh, search the abandoned homestead for 62%. Nice, cool. Oh, the abandoned homestead, there is a more supplies. Excellent. That's 40 uh, sovereigns. Thank you very much. Well, we've also got a couple of quests to take us to. Ooh, hello. Absolutely wrecked. What's my health at? Eh, we'll loot the cold. A distressingly odoured barrel. We'll have that, sure, why not? What do we get for our trouble? An uncanny specimen. Oh, that's actually really good. You pry the lid off. Dear God, what the blaze... <sighs> You'll never get a poked thing inside with a big stick until they're assured it is dead. That's good. We want uncanny specimens and stuff, so that's really nice. Our hull was pretty much repaired, so... Did I get her wheel sorted? Yeah, she's fine now. I've got two wheels in there now. She has a flying saucer wheel, and she has a traditional 12-inch wheel as well. So she can pick and choose what she wants to use as she sees fit. I think that shotgun was a really good investment. Yeah, I agree, actually. I think the machine gun good for, like, longer range fights. Uh, the shotgun good for the short range ones. Wait, all your specimens are canny? Oh, come on, dude. You need to be uncanny. Didn't you see the message? Chug, 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 chug. Chug, 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 chug. Still some fight ant going on over here, as always. Right then. We'll drop off our seeds since we're here. Seeds for Magdalene. So we paid 25 and we got an there for 80, so we made a huge profit for those. That's great. And we got some experience for our trouble. Right then, since we've been here, I think we'll just go by Port Prosper instead. What we'll do, we'll go by the Canticaries. I don't like to double back on myself pointlessly, so I guess we're in a slightly different way then. We also need to go back to Hybris, so maybe we need to do a bigger loop again. Yeah, it should make short work of the bees, actually, yeah. There should be loads and loads of Canticary and, bull and the bull ones over here too. What we've got to be a little bit careful is the Shrive Spinsters, because we can't shotgun those. Well, we can, but ideally if we're that close, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Here they are. There's loads of them up here. Cool. We'll take them out slowly. There we go. So we can lose some terror. Perfect. Doing this is really, really good. Nice. We don't want them to get too close, so they can hurt quite a bit if they uh, ram us. There we are. 
Ah, here we go. Destroy your canning equipment. Yoink. For our trouble, we get some supplies. Woohoo! So that's a really, really easy way of getting supplies, which is fantastic. I think the yeah the bull ones are worth while killing as well. I think. So. That thing's got spooky, spooky noises though. Oh, wow! Thanks for the H HP. make the most of it. Just getting all these supplies. That'll keep us going for ages, which is really good. Nah, HP's not too bad, actually. Like, that's... We took a bit of a nasty hit, but we can repair that, so... The skull blinks when we're in a really, really nasty terror zone. Like, when there's some really spooky shit going on. That, that, like... I don't know what you want to call that. Um, ruin that we just saw up there is a problem. Oh no, Lorella, have you got some grub you can get? Ah, the scouts found something interesting up there. Let's go find out what it is. Yeah, e so I think even though we died, I don't think the setback was too bad. And I think we've actually ended up in a reasonable position in terms of um, money and crew and whatnot. A distant shriek. Oh, wonderful. There's a scry spinster up here then, probably. We can actually use this. We can, yeah. Now we've got canning, we can actually nick these. Mm. So we've got eight supplies, that's really solid. We'll ignore that for now. I'd love to visit the ruins, but I assure it's ends in death. It is for now, yeah. Once we got burlier ships and stuff, we can come back with more crew. When we have like 20 crew, 25 crew, we can do a lot more stuff, a lot more money, we carry huge amounts of supplies and stuff with us, it's, it makes life much more doable. What's the plot end game in this game? It depends on what you're trying to do. There is an end end game where you're trying to, uh, trying to discover the truth, TM, of what's going on. Unravel the secrets. Um, in this particular run, we're trying to make money. That's our, that's our overall goal. Right, we'll explore Port Prosper and write a port report, which is great. Oh, we'll have a factory tour. Sure, why not? Uh, we've done this one before, so what should we do? Eastward. Ah, we'll do that one. We'll lurk in the shadows and get our eastward reputation up, which is great. We're welcomed by the impoverished East Enders, which is good. That's what we wanted. At the bazaar, we can buy Jumble of Souls. Fuel. We do need some fuel. Green Cross Station, we should see the chairman and hand in our Takati nameplate. We've only got one, but hey. We lost rep. Admired. We gained one rep for them. Okay, that's not too bad. 25 sovereigns, not the end of the world. Okay, so we've got, we got some more stuff we can hand in for him. Ask about the Albion transport relay. How do we get passages to Albion? I'm happy to help, ma'am. Happy to help. They point out to the docks. There you are. Keep going past the port. You can't miss it. If you've got good eyes, you might even be able to see it from here. Passage ain't free, mind. You can travel first class. You have a ministry stamp permit. Or you can bring a couple of barrel of hours to travel second class. We got a permit, though, because we're cool. Uh, 
Can we, we do anything with the Windward Company? No. Okay. If we explore port, no. Okay, is there anything else we wanted to do here? I swear there was something else I wanted to do here. Oh, tra transport for us. Here we go. Encourage others to seek adventure. You're now able to offer another transport. Excellent. So what are we going to do then? Where do they want to go? Please be Hybris. Port Avon. Yeah, okay. Fine. Sa same as before. So then, I guess we're going for Carillion next. Hello, Osh. How are you? You right over there, Miggy? Avon, so French. Actually, um, there's a river called Avon actually really close to here. We've got lots of like little towns and stuff called Upon Avon. The Glorious Dreadnought. I think it's burly. Please don't crash into me. Dude, really? Glorious, my ass. Can't even fucking drive. Chugga 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 chugga. Alright, Austin Sal, what have you got here? We've got. Ah, something of interest. And we've got something up here as well. It might just be a. Oh, it's a homestead. Homesteads are good. I think it's a homestead? No, it's a ruin. It's a ruin, which we can't explore. Okay, that's fine. Welcome back, pumpkin. Yeah. Welsh. I guess I should resonate with that being, you know, half Welsh myself, but who knows? Alright, we've got six fuel, seven supplies, which is plenty really. Ah, there's some sort of rauk, but I think we need mining, which we do not have currently. I speak Welsh, or God no. Not a chance. It's like fucking trying to speak Cthulhu. My nan can though. And it's like it's like her speaking Cthulhu, it's really weird. The thing is I might be Welsh, but I've never lived in Wales, so lost on me really. Right. In we go. I think we got a mission here to do. We're doing. We got to investigate a room, haven't we? While we're here. So write a port report. There we are. Investigate rumors of windward propaganda. Uh, which we can't do apparently. We need a savage secret. Or two ministry approved literatures. Okay, fine. Okay, so let's try. It doesn't make an awful lot of sense unless it's here. We could go back up and round, or we can go. It says north northeast. East northeast. Which makes me think it's more like here. Let's try going up and round quickly. We haven't got a huge amount of terror, we've got a decent amount of HP. Let's try it. If we can finally find it, then we've only got the lead beater re uh, reserve, which I'm pretty sure is near that spooky wind we saw earlier. And then, I'm pretty happy we found everything here, and then we can move on. Oh, fair enough, Alithia. Sounds like a bit of a goal. Alright, let's stick close to the edge here. There's a spooky bit we need to avoid as well. If we don't want to get uh, too spooky. Chugga 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 Exactly, Nacho. Exactly. 
Right, since we're here, if we just send, I've got so many thingies, if we just send out a little dude. Ooh, hello. Is that attack to you? Scuttle, scrap and scuttle it, get some hull, and we gain nameplate. Excellent. Ooh. Okay, nothing. Nothing this way at the very least. Let's try over here. It must be somewhere. That's the only thing. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be a reasonable route, transport route around here somewhere. Lots of really spooky-looking ruins, though. So you know, high five. This doesn't look ideal. Aha! Here we go, finally we found it. Your report's back. It glares at you. It's done its job. Why are you doing yours? Well, I'm doing mine. I'm looking for the port. Lushroom's cold. Throw it on the fire. Books if you must. Damn it, princess. Stop stealing all the blankets, you scab. Excellent. We found Lustrum. Explore Lustrum and write a port report. See what it says. So much for a quiet retirement village used to be here. The rush of prospectors has ripped the civility from the place as efficiently as the geodes from the mountainside. The scars that remain are no less vivid. Fewer and fewer prospectors return with geodes of ours, and the cost of prospecting them off site grows every day. Still, for now, Lustrum thrives and offers promises of riches for any lucky or industrious miner willing to come and risk everything in the snow and the mud. Kill. The Hanged Man Pub. A golden tea shop. We can, seek, we can seek a claim of our own to get ours, I guess. Visit the Windward Company, speak with a watcher. Okay, and what else have we got here at the bazaar? Seeds, which we don't have. And bargains available. Munitions! Cool. Anyway, we shall do the rest of that later, because we're going to save that right now, because we've done, done a good, good, good amount of travelling around. So I think that went rather well. Delicious. Right then. Sure, not sure we can do that. We've got uh, one from uh, Jackal for next week. She's very nice in playing Dead by Della. Excellent. That sounds good to me. I've got to go to bed shortly, but I will pop in and say hello very quickly. But uh, we shall raid them. We shall say hello. Be nice, everyone. Have a look at some Dead by Daylight. Thank you very, very much, everyone, for watching. Mwah. Do take care. See you all soon.